Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the Rod and Dad channel or welcome if it's your first time ever. Either way, glad to have you. Today, we are going to be doing a kickstand extension block from, oh my god, I forgot the name. Oh, hold on. Okay, from Bare Knuckle uh, Performance. So what it looks like comes with some different bolts. Uh, it also comes with a uh, higher rubber, I don't know, it's not really a grommet, but a spacer, I guess, whatever, stopper, I guess is the best term. Uh, stopper, that way when your kickstand comes up, you don't, since it's farther down, you're gonna need a farther stopper, whatever. And you need it, is basically what I'm saying. You need it so it doesn't scratch your primary uh, and get all up in there and make stupid sounds or whatever, so. Okay, so before we start the install on this sucker, we gotta take care of something. Now, a few weeks ago, I had somebody comment uh, specifically telling me that they really wish I wouldn't say cue that intro. Uh, so I think you guys know what that means. Let's cue that intro. So the premise of this, real quick, before I bring you guys down and we just go ahead and install it, it's a super simple, you just take the spring off, unbolt, bolt up, it's super easy, uh, but the premise behind this is that instead of having to drill into your kickstand, weld it, get a new one, you know, cut and weld or whatever to extend it, um, is that the kickstand where it mounts onto the frame is now going to mount on this, and this is going to mount on the frame. So it's going to bring it down, I think it's total like an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, somewhere around there, um, but it should take care of your lean, your gangster lean. So the reason you might need to do this or want to do this or whatever uh, is if you have a raised suspension, uh, primarily the rear. Uh, for those of you who have not seen my video, I have the RWD RS1. I think it raises the rear like an inch and a half, somewhere around there, um, definitely more than an inch. So because the suspension is raised with the stock kickstand, my bike tilts really far to the left, uh, which is not a problem. Just to alleviate any extra stress on it or whatever, I made this uh, for garage use. It just has, it's the typical puck that you get at the like the dealers for like five or six bucks, whatever, it's real flat. And I took some, it's, I don't know where, what exa exactly it's called, but it's basically, it looks like two by four, but it's PVC. I think it's just literally called like PVC board or whatever, um, but it's, so it's not wood, so it's super lightweight, um, but I basically just did two layers, bolted it to the puck, um, on the bottom where I have the actual nuts for the bolts, I just did like little recesses for the holes. Um, and then I took some, went to Michael's and got some cheap foam. Oh, I sanded it all down so it's all flush and uniform, whatever. And then I got some cheap, you know, like kind of felt or whatever from the bottom so it wouldn't scratch up my garage floor. Um, so this is what I use when I'm parking it long term. That way I don't have extra stress on the kickstand and it's not, you know, it's probably just in my head, but whatever it costs a few bucks and um but the problem is when you're out so if you're out and you have to park on like maybe a gravel road or whatever and you don't want to take that now you can always buy those cheap little pucks or even take that bigger one um, that gives a little bit more of a footprint to the rear of your or the bottom of your kickstand but if your bike is leaning a lot over 700 almost 800 pounds especially if you got some luggage or stuff on it that's gonna eventually dip into the gravel and uneven surface. So this kickstand extension is gonna take care of that and alleviate any kind of worry and just keep more of the weight centered, I guess, more than leaning. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and put this on. Again, super simple. I'm not gonna even talk through it. You literally unbolt the kickstand and you bolt this to it and then you put the new rubber spacer on the kickstand. It's, I mean, honestly, anybody can do this. Um, you obviously will have to you will definitely have to jack up the bike. I feel like that goes without saying because you're replacing a kickstand component, but you never know who's watching. So jack the bike up, get some tools, get some blue thread locker. We're gonna install the sucker.
All right, all done. Uh, as you can see, the bike is standing on its own, which means it was a success. The only thing I will say that was kind of tough about it was that those, those bolts that have that kickstand or hold the kickstand into the frame, those things were insanely tight and caked them with Loctite, uh, which is good because I mean, that is the only piece of equipment that's holding your bike and keeping it from falling over. But holy crap, were those, those pretty tough. Those are tight. Uh, no other bolts that I've ever taken off from the bike were that tight. But it's all done now. Again, super easy. I happen to purchase mine from Speed Kings. So I'm just going to go ahead and post the link uh, in the description of this video to that um, to that product from Speed Kings. But I'm pretty sure you can get yours uh, from maybe a couple other sites. Uh, but Speed Kings was just the easiest one at the time uh, shipping. I, I don't know what they had a sale or something on shipping or whatever, but that's where I got it from. But it is from Bare Knuckle Performance. Uh, and again, super easy to install. You just need a jack and a spring puller. I will say uh, for the spring, getting the spring back on the kickstand was a nightmare. That spring, uh, it doesn't move that much, but it is super compressed and tight. So what I actually did was I have a set of, um, why can't I think of the name? I'll put a picture of them, but they're... Um, Oh my God, I can't think of the name. I, this Florida heat is, is getting to me. Uh, but I have a set of those that has a reverse um, clamps. There you go. I have a set of clamps that have uh, little rubber mounts and little points that are like the plastic that you can put like hooks on or whatever. Um, I reversed it so it, it can push outwards as well as clamp inwards. So I did that and I spread it apart. I should have just done this in the beginning when I was taking the thing off, the spring off, but I forgot. I just put a whole bunch of either quarters and uh, nickels right in those slots to keep it expanded. Then I put it back on and took pliers and just grabbed the uh, the quarters and nickels out of it and it worked fine because there is no way, I don't care how strong you are, there's no way you're physically pulling that spring with the spring puller um, to get it back on. It's just that spring is so tightly wound in there. But so to complement this install, I actually purchased a set of two. They were like five or six bucks on Amazon. These two, they might even be three, whatever they are. Um, these two kind of pucks, they're way smaller than the uh, bigger ones from Harley and they're orange. So it's helpful if you don't like, you know, bright, you don't forget it or whatever and you can see it. Um, but there are two, so one's going to stay home and one's going to stay in my saddlebag permanently. This will really help because uh, I know a lot of times when we did Taylor Dragon last year or the area of Taylor Dragon, like Tennessee, North Carolina area, there were a lot of pull-offs where there was gravel and stuff, especially having the really uh, steep degree of a lean angle on the bike. Uh, it was kind of sketchy at parts. So now coupled with the fact that I don't have to worry about the super deep lean angle and now that I have these small suckers, um, that's gonna be really good uh, and I, you heard me just mention Taylor Dragon the reason why I'm bringing it up is because we are going back uh, this time it's just gonna be me and uh, the breadster motos and mullets I'll link his channel in the description below as well but we're gonna be there July we're getting there a little late on the 4th leaving early in the night so we're gonna be riding uh, July 5th through the 8th only three days um, we got families to go back to and stuff so we're gonna be riding um, in the Taylor Dragon area North Carolina Tennessee uh, Georgia, that kind of cluster of amazing riding. Uh, we will be there. So if you're going to be there, um, go ahead, just shoot me a, a DM on Instagram or whatever, and just let me know, hey, I'll be here or wherever if you want to meet up and grab a sticker or something, or just say, hey, we would love to meet you. It's, it's awesome interacting with followers, the motorcycle or subscribers or whatever, but the motorcycle community is great. Um, couldn't be more couldn't be more pleased with the people that I've met from it. Uh, and YouTube has helped me just meet even more cool people from the motorcycle family. Thank you guys for watching very much. I really do appreciate it. Let me know if you have one of these, if you have the old school, like I think Bunk King makes one whatever, like the extension blocks that you have to um, drill, uh, you know, the bottom of the kickstand and add it or whatever. Let me know what your thoughts are. Watch one or both of the videos at the end. Again, check out my Instagram, like, subscribe, all that jazz on the channel. Until the next time, guys, ride safe, have fun. Dad out.